This is the Engineering Fundamentals Professional Aspects in Ethics. Today we're going to describe the professional aspects of engineering and describe the purpose of codes of ethics for engineers. Because engineers often have their own strengths and specialization areas, it is common for engineers to work in teams. So due to this fact that engineers are often working in teams, it is important for all engineers to have good teamwork skills. Teamwork skills such as cooperation, which is the willingness to work together. Communication skills, including speaking, listening, and writing. Communication skills also include receiving and giving feedback in productive ways. Finally, another important part of teamwork is accountability. Because when team members are accountable to each other, they follow through on the work they have been assigned. Engineering is known as a profession. Common criteria for a profession include a specialized body of knowledge, the right to make professional judgments, and a regulating body, and a code of ethics. The professional knowledge and information needed to make professional judgments comes from the education and experience that is required of engineers. The first step of becoming an engineer is engineering technician, is obtaining a college degree or certification. An associate's or bachelor's degree is usually required to become an engineering technologist or technician. Most degree programs are structured with the same first two years focused on math, science, and general studies, and the last two years focused on specific engineering disciplines. Many engineering programs also offer internships to give the necessary experience to be hired after college. Many programs are accredited by the Accreditation Board for Engineering and Technology, which requires students to graduate with a range of skills from applying knowledge of math, science, and engineering to conducting experience, experiments, designing systems, and solving engineering problems. The work of many types of engineers is regulated by individual states. This is especially true of civil, mechanical, structural, and electrical engineers. The title of professional engineer, PE, is an important designation because professional engineers are allowed to approve, sign, stamp, plans, and documents. So why professional engineer requirements? Well, it all started with an explosion in New London, Texas, in the New London, Texas school. The school opened in August 1936 and with and during the design phase, school officials instructed the construction crews to tap into an oil field gas line to get gas for free, as it was estimated that the cost to heat the school would be in excess of $3,000 per year. The oil field gas was more unstable than commercial gas. From January through March, teachers had tampered with the burners to adjust and regulate temperatures which caused stress leaks on pipe connectors. March 18th of 1937, an instructor turned on a sanding machine in the shop, which was an area filled with a mixture of gas and air due to a leaking gas pipe. The switch ignited the fumes and carried the flames to a space beneath the, beneath the building, which was 253 feet long and 56 feet wide. And you can see it here on this animation. The explosion lifted the building and smashed it to the ground, collapsing the walls and roof. The explosion was heard for four miles away, and out of 500 students and 40 teachers in the building, it killed 294. Here on the slide, you can see that before the explosion, and then after the explosion, pictures of the school. The Engineering Registration Act was enacted as a result of this tragic school explosion and in response to concerns that the public could not identify who was qualified to practice engineering. This practice act has been adopted in some form by every state. 
While the practice of engineering is regulated by states, each field of engineering also has societies and associations. These organizations promote their field, publish journals and newsletters, conduct conferences, meetings, and seminars, publish codes, standards, and policies. Now, while most organizations focus on specific disciplines, the National Society of Professional Engineers is a professional organization for engineers from any area of engineering. Professionals such as engineers face, face ethical decisions in their professional lives. Ethics are guidelines that we use to help make us decisions about our behavior. In engineering, like most professions, codes of ethics are important because engineers have specialized knowledge that the general public does not. Their knowledge, if used in unethical ways, could be harmful to the public. For example, it would be unethical or harmful for an engineer to create a new product knowing it is unsafe while telling the public that it is safe. The ethics are guidelines for behavior. They maintain, they maintain public safety, competence and expertise, and they help when writing and submitting bids. This ends today's lesson. If you have any qu questions, please contact me.